Do you want to intro those? Do you want me to intro those? We can just do it. Okay. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back to GameSpot. It is Thanksgiving week here in the United States of America, and honestly, it's pretty slow here at GameSpot. But we were sent six bottles of wine from Ubisoft, uh, modeled and characterized by the Assassin's Creed characters that they are paired with. Lucy James, you're the Assassin's Creed expert in the office. I am. I am the resident wine aficionado, so we figured we'd team up to rank and review the Assassin's Creed games based on their wines, or at least the six that we have. So let's get into it. <laughs> Wait, did you want a spit bucket or something? She mentioned that? I don't think so. I've never no, actually... No way, Jose! <laughs> so we'll be starting off with um, Altair from Assassin's Creed, which came out in 2007. Just read the little description on the back. Uh, this is a Loire Valley, IGP Cabernet Franc. A Loire Valley. Displaying impressive finesse and flavors of red currant and savory herbs, this red is the embodiment of Altair. The Cabernet Franc grape tre <laughs> sorry. The Cabernet Franc grape tends to mature quickly, just as Altair became the youngest <laughs> to obtain the rank of Master Assassin. Take a leap of faith with this dynamic wine and be reformed in your tastes forever. Did you take a wine class or something? Yeah, it's like three credits. My professor, I got a C. You gotta really massage these off. Uh-huh. Uh, this is a what, what year? Oh, uh, it's a good year. There we go. What year is it? 2017. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ooh, that sounds good on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That was the advanced. Let it breathe a little bit. I don't know how long we should. <laughs> That's a lot. I'll, it'll be mine. It's got some peppery notes. <laughs> how do you tell? Could see this pairing well with uh, some steak. It's easy I mean, it's a or, red wine, of course it goes For well sure, but like, good steak. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers, taste it. It's quite flat. It was very bland, yeah. Yeah, that was not as tasty. I don't it know, smelled I better than it tasted. Yeah, I expected more... Pep. Zing. It doesn't really travel well either. Like, it's just the same note through. I was expecting a little flourish at the end. There's nothing. Yeah. I actually felt more upfront. But, that would be good for... It's a Monday night. You are just sat... It is a Monday night. But you're just sat in front of Netflix. And you don't want anything too... Um, too overpowering. It's tasteful. It's drinkable. Mm -hmm. So Altair, not off to a good start. Number two. The Ezio Auditori da Ferenzi. It's a 2015 super Tuscan red wine mm. blend. Uh, sourced from Ezio's birthplace of Tuscany, this red is charming and charismatic, like the Renaissance hero himself. Displaying flavors of cherry and red plum on the palate, it's an enchanting super Tuscan that will make you believe and the enlightened perfection that the assassins know humans are capable of achieving. That description was going so well mm -hmm. until that final half of that sentence. Again, if you're like a really high-end restaurant, you'll see them, they'll do it so they keep a label facing you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good, but I'm not that good. A surprising number of people I went to school with are now sommeliers, which I discovered by the medium of Facebook the other day. Well, now you know another one. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Say when. When? This will be mine. There's, yeah, a, there's a hair in that. Did we wash these out? I did. Maybe that was mine. in the wine. I don't think it was. Let's deduct wine. points for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Should give a swirl. There's still dust in see here. See what kind of legs are working here. No, seriously. That's the, the, you know what the legs are? That's the lines that it leaves when it falls oh. down the glass. Like. I for, can't tell if he's bullshitting no, or No, this is real. It is sweeter. Mm -hmm. it's fruitier. Not as, yeah, it is a lot fruitier. It's not as full bodied as I thought it was going to be, mm -hmm. but I quite like it. Yeah, I like really dry tannic stuff. Mm -hmm. This is good. I taste the cherry. I don't know if I can oh, yeah. plum out of it. Hold on a second. Let me check. Jesus Christ. What's the better Assassin's Creed game based on these two? Oh, um, Assassin's Creed 2. The wines. 
The, the wine The wine never out. lies. Up next. Ooh, you're gonna like this one. Oh. We have Connor, everyone's favorite. Please proceed. Assassin, 2016, Horse Heaven Hills, Cabernet Sauvignon. Sometimes the most intriguing creations are born from forging the old and the new, such is the case with this new world take on Cabernet Sauvignon, a namesake for the complicated character of Connor. This is a wine that has something for everyone. They're really trying to convince us that that game was good. <coughs> Vines are uh, moist. Are you excited for this one? I'm excited for this yeah, one because Connor, Connor is my least favorite assassin. Yeah. So I'm hoping that this wine can turn the tides on an otherwise bland protagonist. Bottle and Yeah. Okay. Oh, Tannic dry. I could smell that uh, leathery almost. Well, I wouldn't expect that with a Cabernet Sauvignon. That's kind of a nice little twist. I, usually the leather is reserved for like those Pinot Noirs. Tell them you're being serious or not. You you will find that the more wines you taste, the more you crave that leathery mahogany kind of taste. Do I need an adult here? Again, less tannic than I would have thought, as mm. as my tongue got to know it. <laughs> yeah. When okay. we shoot, you put your phone on vibrate off. <laughs> Sorry. Who was it? Oh no. All right, uh, next. So. Okay. I think Ezio is still the forerunner. Mm hmm. I'm also Ezio Connor Altier. But I did like it. It was fruity. Um, would recommend. Would have. What would I have it with? Uh, like a, a nice dose of revelations. Brotherhood. Oh. I was going to say like a bolognese or something. Can I interest you in these? I brought to pair well with the Cabernet Sauvignon. You didn't bring them, they're from my lunch. Uh, okay, next up. Ooh, we're going down south with this one. Uh, here we go, our first white of the evening, and dare I say our last? I shall, because I know what we're doing the rest of the video. I just wash these. Okay, so, Eveline de Grand Pré? Grand Pré? Mm -hmm. I did German at school, I never studied French. Uh, oh, that's a lot of French words. Can you I got know? it. Okay. Uh, my French is abysmal as well. 2017, Appellation Côte du Rhône Contrôlée. Uh, it's a French wine. Just as Aveline is the ultimate social chameleon, this French white blend is infinitely versatile, deftly tackling various food pairings and displaying different characteristics each time. The wine can be buoyant or rich depending on the match. Let it liberate your senses and challenge all that you know. So, as you'll notice as we go on, there are no wines for Edward Kenway of Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, mm. Jacob and Evie Fry of Assassin's Creed Syndicate from 25th? 15? 15. Yeah. And none from the recent Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Fear not! Fear not! If you stick around after our credits, I have a little surprise for Lucy and all of you. Okay. Do you make credits for us? Okay. Aveline de Grand Prix. The Grand PP? I don't know, whenever I'm in a restaurant and they ask me to wine, like taste the wine, I always kind of do this and just, yeah. I don't know, to pretend well, like so I know also what I'm doing. Well, also, like swirling it uh, releases the bouquet, which can clue you in onto some of the, like, it's like an overture for the wine when you're about to, when you're at the beginning of a show, you know? Um, hits you in on the themes of the, the score that you might be dealing with throughout the, the show. But also it releases the taste, because it, it can, that's why they say let something breathe. And that's why wine glasses are shaped like this. We should be drinking this with a different shaped wine glass, because wine, white wines breathe differently. Uh, okay, go. I'm like half really impressed and half wanting to give you a wedgie. Brava, Eveline, I like it. <laughs> I like it because it's not got that, um, you know, sometimes when you have a bad white wine and it has that awful aftertaste, like the sharpness. Like, yeah. That's not, um, I don't know, it doesn't really make me want to go in for a second sip, but this is going down very well. Mm -hmm. Again, not much of a, a tail to it, but I like it. Is that what that's called, a tail? It can just be like anything, a... honestly. You can call a wine buoyant, as we just learned, and I'll be impressed. Um, I really like that. Oh, it's really good. I really like that. So in a surprise turn, for me at least, maybe you too, Assassin's Creed Liberation is the best Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, do you want some more? Mm-hmm. 
Social chameleon, they call it. Is that it. enough? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I like it. That's really good. So, yeah, I would say number one. What's our current ranking? So this and then Ezio. This then Ezio, then Connor, then Altair. Altair. Yes. Rob Cam. <laughs> Thank you. Can okay. you slide it to me, like, like? No. Buggy game. Immersive game, right? Twenty seventeen Qualitäts Qualitätswein Niederösterreich Zweig Zweigelt Port of Austria. So. That's a that means like quality wine. Nieder Österreich. Uh, I don't know what Nieder means. Mm -hmm. Quality wine, part of Austria. I replayed that game recently for this thing I did mm -hmm. on PS4. Mm -hmm. It's still not great. Okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm fucking wasted. Okay. Just kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. This is a. I would pair this with an Argentinian steak. Mm. Wait, what are Argentinian steaks? Well, I know they're from Argentina, but what are, what do they what do they do? Drink it. <laughs> wait, wait, what do you know about the smell? Clue me in on your. Clue it's... me in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one is actually probably ranked down the bottom half for me. I think. Okay. <clears throat> Bayak of Siba. Uh, interesting thing about the wine, Tempranillo comes from Temprano, which means early, because these this grape varietal ripens much earlier than others. Ooh, very fruity. Oh, very full-bodied. Very, not buoyant. I'd say more like a like a nice. It's got some mass to it. It's like oh come on, I thought we were still riffing. It's tannic, but not in a good way. I don't really like it. It's kind of flat for me. There's it's just fruit and then nothing, and I don't mm. like that. There's no, there's no journey from beginning to end. It's just exposition, and then I guess it's over. It's like it's all, it's all up, it's all front loaded, and then the rest is just boring. Mm. Kind of like my love life. Bad is here. No, that would be from number one to six. Okay. okay. Aveline. Aveline is one. Or no, yeah. Arno. I'll take it. Was, yeah. I would, yeah. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are these centered enough or no? The Runaway Victor. Uh, yeah, the, originally a PS Vita title is the best Assassin's Creed. Um, followed closely by a fan favorite, Assassin's Creed 2. That's not really a surprise. Assassin's Creed 2, 3. Brotherhood and Revelations. This is a trilogy yes. in a bottle. A Tuscan blend, if you will. Yes. Connor, that's... That's surprising for me, because mm -hmm. I was not a fan of Assassin's Creed 3. That, uh, it had its moments, but I'm, you know, redemption for Connor. Luckily, they're remastering it soon because we all want that. Assassin's Creed Unity uh, was, comes after that. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was actually surprising as well. Didn't um, get its fair shot because of all mm -hmm. of the bugs and everything. But and two was... experts weighed in on it and they were like, we should give this a second chance and here we and are. they did in wine form. Altair Ibn Lahad um, from the, the Loire Valley Cabernet Franc. Uh, a sleeper hit. I think it was a good start to the whole thing, but I think it only went uphill from there for the most Solid part. Solid the foundations. Mm -hmm. And Bayek of Siwa. Surprising. For the first time ever, you have disappointed me. But there are some assassins missing. There are indeed. What's one game that you were kind of disappointed didn't get a wine? My personal favorite assassin after Ezio has to be Edward Kenway. Okay, I have something for that. What would Edward drink? He's a pirate. Oh. He would drink <laughs> rum. You didn't even bother to make like a fake label in Photoshop or anything. You weren't doing much today. But I figured we wouldn't be giving this series its fair shake unless we did our due diligence and really took at least a little sip of Black Flag. I mean, I love rum. <laughs> I just smelled it and that's bad enough. I hate rum. It's... What? <laughs> I hate rum. That's, that's, Assassin's Creed 4 sucks. This one's, this next one will be easier, for me at least. Oh, it's from my, uh... From your hometown. So this is a bottle of Beef Eater, which, <laughs> if you don't know, is gin from London. I'm not I, So actually, this is, I'm, I'm excited to see, I like gin a lot. Careful. Oh, that does go down well, doesn't it? It's better than, that's oh, up there. Where's Syndicate, where's Syndicate go? Where's the bottle? Do it! What's okay, so wait. Assassin's Creed Syndicate came out this year. It's very, very... No, I... Syndicate did not come out this year. Syndicate came no, right, out three right. years ago. Right, right, right. No, that was part of the joke. So I have a surprise liquid here that's kind of related to Greece. Here is uh, 
Alexios and Cassandra. It's a bottle of olive oil, and that's all I could find. Because so when I when I was a kid, I always used to go on holiday to the Greek part of Cyprus. So I knew the Uzo. Can bougie. Oh, gotcha. Definitely very viscous, I would say. But look at the legs on that. Look at it. Aveline's still number one, I would say. Sorry. The olive oil's getting to me. Uh, there you have it. The the absolutely definitive and un uh, un. You can't defy this. I was gonna say undefinable, but we just defined it. So there you have it. The absolute and. So there you have it. The definitive, unquestionable, Assassin's Creed ranking. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by and uh, joining us on this culinary, uh, cuisine-based vintner journey through uh, the Assassin's Creed series, which itself is very historical, both in the context of the evolution of games, but also in the, the lore itself. It's been a very, very revealing uh, journey through, from Altair down through his ancestors, and I'm, I'm very glad we took it, uh, despite the sometimes awful aftertaste that certain games left in my mouth. <laughs>